Here you are, Lisa. One sugar. Thanks, Rebecca. Where's Harry? Oh, he's uh, having his afternoon nap. Right. You look a bit stressed. Is everything OK? Well, Charlie and I are having a difficult time at the moment. Oh, dear. What's the matter? Harry isn't sleeping very well. He wakes up four or five times every night, which means Charlie and I wake up too, of course. The trouble is, Charlie finds it difficult to get back to sleep, so he's always absolutely shattered the next day. Mmm, I can see why you're upset. That must be really difficult. <sighs> yes, it is. And when Charlie gets home from work, he's really exhausted and fed up. So we're arguing a lot more than we usually do. Oh dear, what a shame. What should I do, Lisa? Well, have you tried talking to him about it? Yes, but we just end up having another argument. Then he tells me I'm spending too much money and starts getting really angry at me. Oh, how awful. But I only buy things we need for the house and for the baby, of course. Perhaps you ought to spend more time together. You know, just the two of you. I think you need at least one evening off a week. Yes, you could be right. I'll talk to Charlie when he gets home. I'd be happy to babysit for you if you like. Oh, that's very kind of you, Lisa. Thanks a lot. Uh-oh. Sounds like someone's woken up. Back in a minute. I'll get back to you. Charlie, have you got the file for the Bradley account? Oh, uh, yeah, here it is. Thanks. Are you okay? You look exhausted. Yeah, I'm fine. Just having trouble sleeping these days, that's all. I'm sorry to hear that. What's the problem? Well, Harry isn't sleeping very well. He wakes us up in the middle of the night, then we can't get back to sleep. Maybe you should sleep in separate rooms. You know, just till Harry's sleeping better. Then you won't wake up so often. Well, it's worth a try, I guess. But it's not just that. Rebecca's spending too much money. Not on herself, but she buys lots of things for the house and the baby that we just don't need. Well, why don't you talk to her about it? I've tried that. But we just start arguing again. And then she tells me I'm working too hard, which is probably true. But I've heard that some people are going to lose their jobs soon, and I don't want to be one of them. Yes, I see what you mean. But I really don't think you're going to lose your job. The company needs you. Thanks, Andy. That's good to hear. So what do you think I should do? Well, I'd take her out for a really nice meal, you know? Just the two of you. That's what Fiona and I do when we're having problems, and it's always really helpful. Yes, that's a good idea. I might try that. Thanks, Andy. No problem. Good luck. Cheers. Actually, I'll call her now. Hi. Hi, honey, it's me. Look, do you think we could get a babysitter this evening? 